Oh, it does say Konami. Okay. Dang. Control A or Control B. I don't know the controls either way, so let's find out. Look at all these great planets I get to go to. Ah, oh, we're down to three viewers. Three warps to Neptune. What the heck did I just do? Wait, what? This is actually pretty good. I don't really understand it completely. Look, am I on a 2D or a 3D plane? Okay, so I can move around. Whoa! Oh god, there's so much slowdown when there's that many enemies. I, am I like... Oh, okay, I'm like firing into like a tube. This almost reminds me of a game... A fairly modern game called Hyper Force. Uh, Hyper Void. This is the same principle where you're kind of just going around in like a tube-like thing. But like, am I going... So it's almost 3D-ish. It is kind of 3D-ish. This was not at all what I was expecting. This is really good, I gotta say. Although, I mean, it's got its flaws, but it's an NES game. But they actually put some effort into the presentation. Okay. It, the control's a little wonky. You know what? I'll finish this gameplay, but after... Because I'll probably game over relatively soon. I want to try this with the Genesis controller, because I feel like the Genesis controller would be a little smoother on this. All you do is go left and right. That was weird. I wasn't sure if I was going to be going, like, top down, left to right, or what. And it, and it turns out I was kind of right? I don't know. It's like, where am I shooting my shots to? I guess that's why it's called Gyrus. It's kind of like gyro. Like, okay, I should have looked that. Yeah, this definitely would go better with, like, an analog stick. Like, I keep getting stuck with the corners. When you get to the top, you have to hit, like, up or down, not left and right. It's kind of hard to explain. It's really... Not meant for this kind of controller at all. It's a cool idea, though. It looks like there's little upgrades you can get, like most shoot 'em ups. Actually, not a bad game. I think I only spent like five bucks on this. That's why I don't mind taking a shot on these kind of games. Worst case scenario, would have just been a bad five dollar game. I don't know what that is. It's pretty cool. Now, I mean, I love Konami. I love their beat em ups. I love their I love the game that I just got blown up in. I need the NES advantage. I need something. Alright, stage two beat. I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna try it again with the Sega Genesis controller just to see if the comfort's any better. Like so far in the distance, it's hard to really shoot him. It's just not, it's not the most responsive at the top of the top and bottom of the circle. That's what makes this a little hard to get used to. But again, I don't know if a different controller would help that at all. Or that's just the way the game is programmed. It might just be the way the game is programmed. Uh oh. I figured something was coming. That seemed too easy. Oh, uh, this is kind of a cool fight. Yeah, I figured that was, that was going to happen. Yeah, this would be a lot better with a joystick. It really would be. Which I don't have, but I do have a fairly modern Super De uh, Genesis controller that I'm going to go ahead and switch to right now. It doesn't have a joystick on it, but it's got a much smoother D-pad, so... D-pad's over here. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I'm going to have to switch. Turn the main menu real quick here. Menu. Oh, look at the cheats. I haven't used any cheats. Yeah, I'm not going to use any cheats at this point. Game menu. Uh, settings. There we go. I tried control scheme A before, I don't know what the difference is. Let's see. It probably will be the same experience, but I don't know. I'm 
this. I just want to kill my freaking thumb. Ow, oh, okay, the A button is some kind of special attack that I just wasted. Alright, it's a little easier, it's still kind of glitchy, but at least I'm not killing my thumb doing it. This is actually a pretty fun game. Even though there's a lot of slowdown in some of these parts. This actually is not bad. There's still a couple other games for the NES I have not played yet. In fact, there's that game I bought with you with Danbury. The, I think it was like Sea Shark or whatever, Sky Shark. Pretty good. Got it. Oh, okay, that gives me a special attack, I think. It gives me that little red burst in the corner. I think I earned a power-up if I need it. I think I like a special move. I've actually never seen a game like this where it's like you're kind of like they're coming at you, but not. It's almost like a 3D type of Space Invaders deal. That's kind of cool. Like, and it's not like I was afraid it was going to try to do like Star Fox, and I'm like, that would be so terrible on NES. Heck, it's terrible on Super Nintendo. All right, yeah, so that's what that that, that does a special move. That's cool, man. I usually have to play these games a few times before I feel like I'm at least, like, I have a fighting chance. And then if I lose, it's just because I suck. But first couple times, I'm a little bit out of it. It does seem like I can get upgrades. Like, I just have a double shot now. Before, I was only shooting one bullet. Right. Yeah, it's already easier the second time around. This is a really cool game. I would highly recommend it. If you find this game, I would recommend it, because it's a very cheap game. It's a, it's a slightly different take on a shoot em up I mean, it's not the most unique thing ever, but just there's a concept of shooting into, like, kind of a tube or whatever you want to call this. The way that you avoid and shoot projectiles is a little bit different. The problem is, even with this better D-pad, I uh, do kind of feel like I get stuck sometimes, or it almost goes, it goes too fast in one direction or the other, and it's not like an even circle, but a joystick would definitely help. Alright, here's that boss again. Actually, a pretty cool explosion for an NES game, I'm not gonna lie. The action is hot, hot, hot. Ooh, I got a chance stage. Hot damn. I don't know what I'm doing, but. Oh, one up! Yay! Is that it? Oh, okay. That thing! Yay! Ultra Konami, you're all right. Sweet. All right. I got an extra life out of that. A little bonus round. Oh, I got another extra life for getting a high score. Oh, I'll be damned. The Sega Genesis controller is better at playing this, the NES game than the... Um, well, actually, I do have an NES controller somewhere. I just didn't choose to use it here. Three warps to Pluto. Can't wait to get to that planet that's not even a planet. Different enemy types, which I like. I was afraid I'd be fighting the same enemies the entire game. Like the, the depth is pretty good considering this is a you know polygonal 2D complete game, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's a new creature there. Almost looks like a Metroid. Whoa, okay, little viruses coming in here, making things a little, little virated. That'll work. I don't know, but we care. 
Ouch, I kind of had a feeling. Kind of a little hard when they start getting tricky like that. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I mean, my range of mo movement's decent, but it's not fantastic. Especially when those things are doing that. This game reminds me a lot of Hyper Void, which is a PSVR game that's actually really good. Obviously better controls, but I'm, this game is a little different. It's hard to really explain. Whoa, okay. Ah, oh, jeez, I just ran right into that thing. Naturally. How did I miss all of them with that? I just shot that right into the middle. I think by chance I did something. What am I, the new Britain bees? Can't hit anything? Jeez, that sucked. Yeah, I figured at some point the game was gonna get more difficult as games do. Oh my god. Two. Great. Nice to just luck out on something. Surprisingly modern, like, blast off noise there. Not a huge fan of those weird jaggy things. Oh, they multiply! Well, that was not fun at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. Oh, that was close on both counts. Oh, my god. It's like, by the time you realize it, most of the time the controller reads it, but every now and then you can't really backtrack. It's like... Yeah, exactly. It's like you're just... Yeah. It's really hard to anticipate their movement and also anticipate the controller's occasional delay. Or it'll go too fast and you'll slip into them. They're everywhere affecting our very heart and soul, giving us some weird stuff here. There's so much more than that. I got the moves like weird jaggies. I got the moves like weird jaggies. The holy crap, I almost died the moves like weird jackies. I hope not. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, that's not good. How do I hurt this thing? Oh, geez, that seems unfair. I can't move to the middle of the screen. Oh, I see. Whoa! It's like some messed up centipede. A lot of Maroon 5 references here. I don't know how I beat that, but I did. Alright, good enough for me. Thanks for tuning in so far, my three viewers. Just we're getting down toward the end of the thing here. For a chance stage, I really need an extra life here. That's Yoshi's egg, it may as well be. Well, it's very hard to get a hit here. That's a one up. Got 
got the one up. I right, can play the game for another few minutes. I have a feeling the next few stages are going to be even harder. I didn't hit any of them. Powering up. Huh. Uranus. That's where we're going. Alright, somehow got another ship. Oh, um. Whoa, okay. Man, the hemorrhoids are coming. I like shoot 'em ups anyway, but it's just it's nice to get a slightly different take on it. It's not like your same old asteroids or space invaders. It kind of borrows it kind of borrows elements from both, including me getting blown up. That thing is kind of deadly. Those remind me of those Detroit enemies. Oh wow, that was just savage. Wow, well, they're ready then. I guess I celebrated too early there. <laughs> 